All right, we are back to go ahead and remove the glass off this Samsung Galaxy S4. There's a few tools that you're going to need to do this, the first being a heat gun, a laser temp thermometer. You don't have to have that, but it's definitely something to nice to use. Make sure you don't uh, overheat the LCD. We have a various some different uh, opening tools. I like this eye Sesimo tool. I have a razor blade. We have a couple of playing cards, which is my preferred method. And also, if necessary, we have maybe a, a plastic razor blade or something of that nature to help open this phone. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get started. What we need to do first is uh, go ahead and... I'm going to wear a glove to help me do this. We're going to uh, heat the screen up. We don't want to go really past 180 degrees, which is why I want to use the uh, infrared thermometer to uh, make sure the, the screen temp and really the, the optical clear adhesive really starts to melt around 170, 180. You can go up to 190. It, it does happen. So it's not like you should freak out if you uh, you get up too high. Uh, but 200 is kind of the, the zone where you don't want to go too far past. Now the tools that I'm going to be using, uh, I may use a metal tool to start off with. Um, if you're looking to save the frame of your phone, uh, I'll be replacing this particular one so I'm not too concerned about it. I would suggest using um, some plastic razor blades or a guitar pick, uh, something that's not going to damage the frame as you are heating it up and then using a metal tool against it uh, will nick it and, and kind of leave it uh, showing that you've opened the phone. So we're going to start off with the iSesmo tool, which is a nice thin piece of metal. I'm just going to dip it right below the screen and go ahead and just kind of get it started for us. And really the goal here is just to uh, kind of break through the black uh, rubberized tape that's holding this frame. I'm prying up just right here in the corner. You can see that the optical clear adhesive started a spider web kind of out on the phone. I'm going to move it to the other side and just uh, see if we can go ahead and uh, get the same effect to happen here. Perfect. Just trying to get a little bit more going on. Since we have a little bit of a gap here, I'm going to go ahead and just insert a playing card uh, into the phone right here and remove my uh, metal pry tool. I'm just going to slide this down just a little bit uh, and start to get the uh, optical clear adhesive to uh, start breaking away from the LCD. Now, right where the speaker grill is at, it actually protrudes through the glass, so you have to lift up the glass a little bit as you get to that point. So you're going to want to make sure that it's nice and warm before you slide it over that grill, um, as you'll have to get uh, a little bit of separation happening. Now, I can feel that the glue is starting to get a little bit harder to pull apart, so what we're going to do is just reheat the phone up here and get it back to that 180 degree temp. You definitely don't want to let it fall too far uh, below a, a hotter temperature as uh, you, you can crack these LCDs uh, pretty simply. Actually, they're in, I believe it's an AMOLED on this particular phone. All right. We're going to go ahead and just slide the playing card down a little bit further. You can see that it's definitely starting to pull away from the frame of the phone. You can see all that glue just kind of starting to move its way back. You notice that I'm taking it nice and slow. Um, a lot of people will try to rush this and um, I definitely don't want to break the display on this. Uh, it's uh, really the, truly the reason why I actually purchased this phone. I'm just trying to uh, refurbish it and get it set to uh, go out to a new owner. And as I move this playing card down, you can see it'll start to where there's a crack within the glass. Um, I may have to use a, an opening tool to kind of lift that back up. Be nice and gentle and make sure that your glass is still nice and warm. Since I made a little bit of progress on it, I'm going to try to stick my playing card underneath it, just like so. And then I can continue moving this down the glass. The reason why I don't want to use a metal opening tool too much on the devices. I don't want to scratch the screen underneath. So playing cards are a, a, a nice thick alternative that'll uh, give you that strength that you're looking for but it won't scratch or ding uh, a display. Starting to look good. And 
and again to start moving the playing card down the display of the phone. And I try to make them uh, get to a pretty even spot before I start moving on the next one. Now you may get a uh, kind of a it'll kind of stick on the sides of the phone where that uh, rubberized adhesive is. If you just pull it back kind of like a sawing motion as you move down the phone when it gets stuck, that'll go ahead and just unstick it from uh, the frame of the phone. And you can kind of continue to move it down. Like right there, it got stuck, so I'm just going to pull it out and push it down a little bit farther and get underneath that shattered portion of the glass. Now we're starting to get a little bit of resistance on the glue, so we're going to go ahead and just reheat the phone up again. Try not to get too far above 180 degrees. Just going to slide the card down right to the very bottom. And you'll kind of feel it kind of break away. We don't want to go further than just the bottom of the display. You want to stop just as you hit the bottom white portion. There's a, a cable uh, that houses the back, home, and uh, menu button underneath here. So we're just going to kind of fold the old phone open just a little bit. And then we're going to take a, a razor blade or an opening tool of some sort and just kind of stick it in, try to peel that off of the glass. Now you want to be pretty careful when you're doing this. You don't want to rip this cable. It's a, a, another expense that you don't want to waste. It's actually glued on both sides. So what I'm going to do to, to make sure I can get this off is actually heat up the bottom portion again, make sure that I get it nice and warm uh, to kind of let that glue separate from the glass or make it a little bit easier on me to do so. And I just put the playing card in at the top to make sure that we didn't get the adhesive to stick back down. And I'll try this playing card to see if this will let me remove it. Um, I would suggest not using a metal opening tool, but to be honest with you, they're a little tricky sometimes and that usually is the easiest way to actually get that cable to come off the glass. It's going to kind of set it back a little bit. I'm going to have to use this metal opening tool. Let's stick it in there. And just gently pry it away from the glass. Now it is some pretty sticky tape. It is the, the rubberized 3M adhesive, the double-sided sticky tape. So um, this is what they actually usually glue displays on with. So it's definitely a little bit tricky there. We've got went ahead and removed it. Just got a little bit of adhesive down here holding the uh, glass to the frame still. So we're just going to go ahead and try to pull it off gently. And we're just going to slide the button through here, the ribbon cable. Definitely don't want to rip it. I'm just going to pull it away. There we go. going to double check this corner and see if it's still functioning for us. Now it's always scary when you remove the LCD or the glass off of it because you get these weird spider web cracks um, within the glue. It's not actually on the glass but if you look at this one as I kind of tilt it you can see that it looks like the top right there is cracked uh, which is a concern for us. Uh, so before I move too much further uh, I usually try to test my phone to make sure that it's still fully functional. So we're just going to take the logic board Clip the LCD back into its uh, port here. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky when it's not in the frame housing. Grab our battery, stick it on here, and then uh, just hit the power button. See if we can get our display to start up here. It's just not wanting to depress this button for us. being a little tricky. All right, there we go. We can see that the display is uh, definitely still loading for us. Uh, so everything's fully functional at this point. The digitizer is attached to the LCD screen on this particular phone. And the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and remove the LCD uh, from the housing. And then we'll go ahead and stick it in the mold and, and glue it back in using the local glue. Uh, so if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, if you want to follow the remaining process, go ahead and uh, click the link in the bottom right hand corner. That'll take you to the next video in this series. Uh, thanks for watching.
and see you on the next one.